Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to your Unacademy in English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, all of you are doing amazing. This is your chemistry educator was seeing but. And my dear students, this particular session is for all the NEET 2024 aspirants. And I would want you guys to stay till the end of the session because at the end, I'm going to give you uh, something which will definitely help you out in order to score high in your NEET 2024 examination. And in this particular session itself, I'll let you know what this particular channel has come up with for all of you so that you can ease out your preparation with us, with this Unacademy Nate English team. So my dear students, first of all, I am going to address two types of Nate aspirants right now. The first type of the students, the first chunk of the students who at this particular point of time are scoring less than 350 marks in their mock test. And one more type of the students, one more set of the students who are scoring more than 450 in their mock test at this particular point of time, right? What all things you have to keep in the mind? What all things you have to follow, right? What all things you have to avoid in these particular upcoming 60 days, right? So that you can score really high when it comes to the NEET 2024 examination. So basically, I'm going to give you the complete 60 days plan which is definitely going to help you out a lot. So please and please do stay with me till the end of the session. My dear students, all those students who are scoring less than 350 marks at this particular point of time in their mock test, first of all, you need to analyze yourself. You need to understand one thing, that your fundamentals, they are not clear. Your basics is not clear. If at this particular point of time, keeping in mind that there are only two months left till the NEET examination, right and you are scoring less than 350 at this particular point of time trust me my dear students out of experience i'm telling you your fundamentals your basics is not up to the mark it's not clear so first of all you have to you have to my dear students work upon your basics you have to work upon your fundamentals now the point is how you guys are going to work upon your fundamentals right how you guys are going to make your basics strong how? How exactly? What do you have to do at this particular point of time? I believe every one of you would have made notebooks, uh, whether you have studied in online batches from YouTube or from offline. My dear students, my request would be to solve the same questions again and again, which your teacher has solved in the classroom itself, right? Because I believe whatever questions a teacher shows in the classroom, be it online or offline, they are always the standard questions, right? They are neat oriented questions wherever you're studying right so first thing from your class notebooks from your class notebooks again i'm saying solve the same questions again right if you have solved them once solve them twice solve them three times that is going to make sure that your basics is getting stronger that will make your basics stronger for sure number one number two do not avoid the mock tests as i told you if for example you are starting with kinematics right if you're starting with kinematics, you're checking its notebook, you're doing all the questions again, then I would request you guys, I would request you guys, after you do this particular process, after you solve the same questions again, write the chapter-wise mock test. Write the mock test of the same chapter so that you can again analyze yourself whether your fundamentals, whether your basic is getting stronger or not. Number one. Number two, DPPs and PYQs. Whatever DPPs have been given in your online or offline centers, right? Solve the same DPPs again. If you have solved them once, solve them one more time. Do not change your material at this particular point of time, right? You must be thinking, is NCRT required for us? I would say, do NCRT for your biology itself and in organic chemistry. Rest all the other subjects, you are not supposed to consult NCRT, right? Just follow this particular process, that's all, right? So first of all, your class notebook questions again, then chapter-wise mock tests, then your DPPs and PYQs, right? This is more than sufficient for you. And my dear students, let me be very honest. If you're scoring less than 350 right now at this particular point of time, that, that again tells me that your syllabus is not completed, right? Uh, I believe you would have completed some 30 to 40% of the syllabus. Now, my request would be to avoid the detailed one-shots on YouTube at this particular point of time again, right? Because it's going to consume a lot of time follow those one shots which will happen in three four five hours maximum right you can follow those one shots on youtube avoid those detailed lectures because if you focus on the detailed lectures right now score knowing that you're scoring less than 350 my dear students it's going to 
I mean, you won't be able to complete your whole syllabus basically. And to qualify this particular examination, it's mandatory to complete the whole syllabus. One subject is not enough to crack this particular examination. You have to complete your 100% of syllabus. You cannot, you cannot leave a single chapter at this particular point of time, knowing that your lot of syllabus has been deleted already. Your easy kill chapters have been deleted, right? And what we have come up with for all of you who are scoring less than 350, you'll get the idea in some time, number one. Number two, those, those students who are scoring more than 450, it tells me that your syllabus is up to the mark. 50 to 60 percent syllabus has been completed, right? Okay. Fundamentals, again, they are completely stronger, right? They are good. Your basics is good. Now, what do you have to do in these upcoming 60 days? My dear students, one thing which you need to work upon, that's time management. I believe out of my experience, if I analyze your thing, your, since you are scoring more than 450, that means... That means one thing that will be missing in you. That is how to manage time. And how do you manage time? How do you solve the questions in lesser time? Right? Okay. All those things in order to cover up all those things. How to manage time in order to manage the time effectively basically. Right? What all things you have to keep into your mind. For that I have written over here certain things. Number one. Do as many revisions as possible. I am talking about the revisions of your notebooks. Number one. Right. Number two, again, for you guys as well, do not change your material. Solve the same material again, whatever you have solved. I believe you would have solved the material once. I'm pretty much sure that's the reason why you're scoring, scoring more than 450 right now. So solve that same material again, right? Now, particularly for you guys who are scoring more than 450, my dear students, for you to make your uh, concepts a little more clear, right? To get that confidence in you, I would highly suggest, I, will, I would highly recommend NCRT reading in all the subjects, right? Particularly for those students who are scoring more than 450. NCRT reading, NCRT in-text questions. Apart from that, NCRT exercise questions as well, right? Follow this particular thing. Do not avoid this particular thing, okay? Do not avoid this particular thing. It is much needed at this particular point of time. Since you are already scoring more than 450, my dear students, now is the time to solve as many mock tests as possible. Because by writing more and more mock tests, you can analyze your mistakes, right? You can, you can identify your strengths as well, right? And once you identify your weakness and strengths, then accordingly you can act upon your weaknesses and convert them into the strengths, right? That is something which you can only make happen if you write more and more mock tests in these upcoming days. So minimum, I would recommend you guys to write 30 mock tests, be it chapter wise, be it full syllabus, the way you want it to be, right? And my dear students, Again, for you guys, since you are already scoring more than 450, right? Avoid the detailed lectures at this particular point of time. For your revisions and stuff, you again have to follow the small one shots, right? Where a chapter will be covered in two, three hours, right? That will, uh, that will basically give you that confidence that you are revising things, right? That is much needed for you guys as well. Now, how this particular channel is going to help you out in order to ease out your preparation? My dear students, from Monday, from Monday, right? from upcoming Monday, that means 4th of March, we are starting a crash course completely free of cost on YouTube, right? On this particular channel itself, in which I'll be taking care of your chemistry with me, HSP sir is there, Ambika ma'am is there, Yavar sir is there, right? We all will make sure that your whole syllabus gets completed in this crash course, right? And what all things you are going to get in this, in this particular crash course? My dear students, first of all, this crash course is starting on this particular channel. Every day at 7 p.m. you will have a session starting from Monday itself at 7 p.m. Right? It's absolutely free of cost. No need to pay a single penny. One chapter will be completed, completed in three to four hours. All the concepts in a particular chapter will be discussed. Right? You must be thinking, how come a particular chapter can be completed in three, four hours? For that, you'll, you'll get the answer in some time. Right? Next thing, as I told you, your series, this neat 2024 last lap series, whose thumbnails, whose sessions are already public, you can check them out, right? Uh, this particular series is starting on Monday. Now, my dear students, see, in this particular series, in a particular week, we shall be doing one session in which we shall be discussing some 500 questions. So it's going to be top 500 questions of a week. For example, in a week, we are doing, let's say, five chapters, right? Five chapters in five days. That means on the sixth day, we will have a combined session of PCB wherein whatever chapters you will have you would have completed in that particular week through this particular series, right? We will try to do 500 minimum questions 
from those five chapters which would have been completed in a particular week right so i i'm pretty much sure now you would have got the idea why we have kept three to four hour session right for every chapter because it is followed by top 500 questions for the week right we are not going to leave any small very very small topic also we'll touch every single thing which is required basically we'll touch every single thing in this particular series which will my dear students make sure that you study everything perfect which will make sure which will give you that confidence basically right so apart from this let me show you the week one schedule look at this particular schedule in this particular series we are going to complete your whole syllabus of physics chemistry biology on this channel itself the series is starting on monday my dear students please and please do not avoid i mean do not create any sort of backlogs at this particular point of time i would highly suggest you guys to watch the live sessions every day because the session duration is just going to be three to four hours rest the time is yours solve whatever things i've told you to solve right you can do that perfect and this particular neat last lab series is for those students who are scoring less than 350 as well as those students who are scoring more than uh, 450 right it's for everybody basically it's for everybody basically right so first march i'll be taking a session on thermochemistry then sorry fourth of march then fifth of march that is tuesday it's going to be bas basic mathematics which you call as mathematical tools in physics which will be done by yavar sir then breathing exchange of gases by ambika ma'am hydrocarbon in which hsp sir will be completing your alkanes and alkenes and on 8th of March, 500 questions from these four chapters, which we shall be doing in a particular week, right? Then again, the process starts, right? On 9th March, it's going to be me who will be taking the atomic structure. Then 10th March, again the session. 11th March, again the session, right? Then 12th March, again the session. 13th March, again top 500 questions of those chapters which we would have accomplished, which, would, which we would have completed in a particular week right so i'm pretty much sure this particular series is going to ease out your preparation to the maximum but i would highly 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 suggest to you guys i would highly request you guys to watch these sessions live right you're not supposed to make notes of this particular series right you just have to be watching the lecture keep pen and paper with you try solving things try making short notes at this particular point of time one more thing which we are giving you here right you can check the description box of this particular video. You'll find a link from which, from which, my dear students, you can get the chapter-wise formula sheets, right? Formula sheets at this particular point of time is required in every subject, be it physics or chemistry, right? And there's a link in the description box of the video. I would want you guys to click on that link and download the formula sheets of physics and chemistry, right? And your session notes, I'll be providing them in the Telegram group. These are the Telegram groups which you can join in. Perfect. So I believe this session was beneficial for all the students. Please and please, whatever things I've told you in this particular session, follow them, prioritize them, right? And my dear students, since we have got only 60 days almost left till the examination, let's utilize these 60 days in the best possible direction, right? So I would see you guys in my first session, which is going to happen on Monday for thermochemistry. Again, I'm repeating all the syllabus of physics, chemistry, biology will be completed in this nice, neat last lab crash course batch, which is going to happen on this particular channel absolutely free of cost right so take care god bless you all do let me know in the comment section if you actually like this video if you found this particular video beneficial or not god bless you all bye bye guys take care